What is FOMO? Have you ever been influenced to buy something that you originally had zero interest in? Is FOMO and being influenced stemming from jealousy? Today's video is a hot topic. I understand that some of you guys are going to disagree with the way that I feel, and I'm going to approach this video very respectfully, and I hope that you will be respectful down in the comments below. Now, I'm very open-minded. I am open to different perspectives and different opinions. That is not something negative, it is not something bad to share, so I hope that you will share your opinions down below. Just be respectful because there are people myself and other people that may have a different opinion than you. The first thing that I want to touch on is FOMO. What is FOMO? FOMO is the fear of missing out. Now for me personally, FOMO doesn't really come in the form of materialistic things. My FOMO, things that I feel like I have the fear of missing out on, are actually group activities. And this stems from a very young age of mine. I have a large family. Half of my brothers and sisters were moved out by the time I was even five years old. I am the youngest girl in the family and I have one little brother. So my family does these little click type situations where my older sisters get together, my older brothers get together. And us younger kids are a little bit disoriented. We're not close whatsoever. I'm not going to get into details about that. However, I do feel like it. my fear of missing out with activities actually stems from my own family. But when it comes to the fear of missing out with material objects, I don't necessarily feel that. It's very, very, very rare, rare that I feel that. The only circumstances that I could think of when I was brainstorming today's video was if somebody, a friend of mine, purchased something that I had already wanted. Maybe it's something I was saving for, maybe it was something that um, I couldn't afford, whatever it may be, it was something I already wanted and a friend purchased it, then I would feel a little sense of, man, I really wish I could have that. But I don't know if that's complete FOMO because it's something that passed pretty quickly, but it was definitely there. It's a feeling that I didn't like a little tiny sting of jealousy because my friend, somebody who was in my circle, was able to purchase this thing that I really, really wanted. The word FOMO, the fear of missing out, is pretty direct, it's pretty clear, but I feel like people can take these in a couple of different ways. We can have a fear of missing out, like I do, where I actually fear missing out on group activities or being invited places, but we can also have a fear of missing out on objects, on what other people have. So I would love to know down in the comments below, do you ever have FOMO at all? And if you do, what type of FOMO do you have? And if you have a different definition of FOMO, it affects you differently than the two ways that I have described here today, please let us know that in the comments below as well. Now being influenced is a little bit more tricky. It's a little bit more muddy. It doesn't have a strict definition. We can be influenced to buy something and it's the perfect thing that we needed. And we can also be influenced to buy things that we absolutely did not need whatsoever. So I wanna be real and honest with you guys about what are the things that I'm influenced to buy. One of the main things that I am influenced to buy is actually clothing. I see it on people, I see the way it works for their body, they might be a similar height or a similar weight as me, and it kind of takes away me having to go into the store to try it on. So I'm able to purchase those items that somebody else has already tried on on Instagram or YouTube and they have a similar shape that I do, and it almost guarantees, almost guarantees, that it will look good on me. if. I'm watching somebody who has a similar body type to me. But I didn't learn that right away. I actually have been influenced by people that are thinner than me, thicker than me, curvier, taller, shorter. However, their body differs, doesn't matter. Their body was quite a bit different than mine. And I came to this illusion that whatever looked good on this shorter lady is going to look good on me. I'm five foot six for reference. And although she looked drop dead gorgeous and whatever this item is, it was too short for me. It was maybe let's say it was a dress and it, it's like super short, but booty cheeks are about to hang out type of a situation. 
So I have learned that I need to only be influenced by people that have a similar body shape to me. I don't think that being influenced is necessarily a bad thing when you take it in the context that I just shared with you. You're able to see something on somebody in the body size that is your body size and it kind of saves you a little bit of time from having to go out and research and do things yourself. However, if you are easily influenced, you could be influenced to buy tons and tons of things that you don't need. It might be that skincare, it might be that Korean food, it might be a new outfit, it might be a new handbag, which costs thousands and thousands of dollars. It might be something that your friend has. It might be your neighbor's brand new car. It might be the house in the background of a video or the beautiful shelf that somebody has behind them. You could be influenced to live outside of your means and that's where being influenced really, really takes a toll and a negative aspect. I feel like being influenced could be good or it could be bad. So I would love to know, when you're influenced by things, are they generally good purchases or are they generally bad purchases? Are you easily influenced or are you more like me and you're able to put into perspective of whether that thing that you're influenced by, that thing that you love, is something that would actually work in your lifestyle? The last thing that I wanna to touch on is jealousy and how I personally feel like FOMO and being influenced can stem from jealousy. Back before social media, I don't know about you guys, if you're even old enough, let me know down in the comments below, are you old enough where social media didn't affect you at some point in your life? Back before social media, I was happy with everything I had. I didn't see super nice houses. I didn't even know what a super nice house looked like. I didn't see a fancy coffee machine on somebody's countertop. I didn't even know they existed. I didn't even know about luxury handbags. My form of luxury handbags was coach. So I'm eager to know, do you guys feel like FOMO and being influenced stems from jealousy? Why do we feel like as a whole, as a community, why do we feel like if somebody else has something, we need it also? I mean, that's what influenced is, right? You see it on somebody or somebody has it and you like it and then you want it. Why does it trigger something in our brain to make us feel like they have it, I want it? And I feel like it's this ladder that we're constantly climbing until we reach a point where we are living outside of our means and something has to be done. Now, I am sure this has something to do with marketing. I don't really know how that works. I do not work in marketing, but I'm pretty dang sure it has something to do with marketing. But I wanted to share with you guys what I do when I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm being influenced just a little bit more than I like. So what do I do when I am am feeling intensely influenced by everything. Now I can deal with being influenced by one or two things. I see it on somebody, I like it, I do some research, I, I look at it, I see the price and usually I can walk away. But when I'm finding that I'm influenced by the makeup, by the clothes, by the homeware, by whatever it may be, and it starts to impact me negatively because I can't buy all of these things that everybody else has, I take a break from social media. I do this quite often, probably I'd say once or twice a year, where I take a couple weeks off from social media. And every single time I do this, it's for specific reasons, two specific reasons to be exact. One is I feel like my life is not good enough because I'm seeing all these elaborate lives. That's the first reason I take a break from social media. The second break is I, or second reason I take a break is because I feel like it's consuming all of my time and it's time to step away from it. So I'm eager to know, do you guys ever take a break from social media? And if you do, does it help you to reset your mind? Every time that I take a break from social media, I usually try to do at least two weeks. Sometimes it works perfectly, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it doesn't. In fact, I'll delete all of my social media apps and I'll probably revisit it about once a week. Sometimes I'll do a quick little post, comment or respond to comments and then jump off because social media is kind of my job at the moment. My second job, I have a, a, I have a day job. So I sometimes will post once a week on my little breaks that I take, but I find that 
When I take a long-term break, which I've only done this about twice in my life, where I've taken a complete break from social media over a month, I think I actually took three, three months off. I found that I was so much more happier with what I had. I was so much more happier with the way that I looked. My weight no longer bothered me or became a concern. My appearance no longer bothered me or became a concern. And I didn't feel the need to shop as much. And I felt really, really gratified with what I already had. So I challenge you, if you guys are having this moment where you are feeling a lot of FOMO and you are feeling a lot of influence, you're being really influenced by everybody, I challenge you to take a social media break. Now for me, that doesn't include YouTube. That includes Instagram, it includes Facebook. Um, that's all I have, but Facebook I'm not active on at all. I don't even have that app. I just check in with family on there. So mainly for me right now at this point in time, it's my Instagram. But you do whatever works best for you, but do a true cleanse. Step away from it for a good period of time. Go through all the feels, go through the anxiety, the want, the desire to scroll on your platform of choice. And then soak up how you feel afterwards. I almost guarantee you're gonna feel really good. You'll probably feel better than you feel now. And that's why I wanted to make this video because I did recently take a step away from social media and it really did help me. And I actually plan to do another one soon just because why not? Like, why wouldn't you want that? Why would you want to compare yourself to somebody else? Why would you want to feel FOMO? Why would you want to feel influenced by other people and right now at this specific time in my life I'm really focused on my kids and my husband and my financial savings that I'm working towards and that's it those are my main focuses right now YouTube is a hobby I love it I enjoy it so it is a side focus but my family is my main focus and so I don't really have time for Instagram anyhow so for me personally I'm going to decide to take a couple weeks off I might post once a week or twice a week where I will just post something really quick respond to a couple of comments and then get off but I'm gonna do a good little cleanse and see how it affects me mentally I already know how it's going to affect me mentally I've done this quite a few times but I'm really excited for the changes to be made with taking a step away from social media Okay, guys, I feel like that last part was a little bit rambly. I hope that you guys understood where I was coming from. Today's video is not scripted at all. I just wanted to come to you guys and share my raw, authentic thoughts as they're bubbling out of my mouth, which, as you can tell, they're really just kind of rolling out. They're probably not making enough sense or very much sense at all. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. How do you feel about FOMO? How do you feel about jealousy? How do you feel about being influenced? And do they affect you today in your life?